put your face on TVs, mobile phones and other devices. I've done it recently in some of my own personal videos and it looks sleek and it looks swish. It also breaks the attention and makes people chuckle because they can see my face on that TV screen or waving around on a mobile phone device. It's quite simple and I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay, to get started, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. What I'm going to do is go to, in this case, Story Blocks, but you can go to anywhere that has a green screen selection, including even on YouTube, where you can type in green screen effects. And here you will find things that, you know, seem to have green screens behind them that you can always use. In this case, for example, there's, there's loads of explosions, loads of money. Now I promised you that I'd show you how to put yourself on screens and mobile phones. So let's say this tablet here, I'm going to download this from Storyblocks. They're a good website where I get most of my stock videos from that I use in my content. You can see a link in the description below. I'm now going to download this. So I edit in Adobe Premiere Pro. This can also be done in Final Cut Pro and many other things that use Chroma Key. I'm going to drag it into my timeline. And you'll see here, this is the mobile phone and there's a green panel here. Now you need to be careful of the layering. So I'm gonna move this up a layer. So imagine that this is a piece of paper and underneath is anything that's underneath that piece of paper. And the green is actually a hole that you've cut out of it. Now I've added some footage that I'm gonna place underneath this for you. So the next step is go to effects, search for, in my case, I use ultra key you can use chroma key, pull it over to the part on the timeline. Now in the settings on the right hand side, in my case, you'll now see ultra key and here key color, a little pipette. I click on the pipette. You'll notice that it now goes black, which actually means it's now taken anything that is this color and removed it from the frame. So when I drag in something behind it, it fills in that block a little bit. Now, I can resize whatever's behind it into the phone. So as I play, here you go, I'm talking on the phone. Same here with this clip here. So once again, go to effects, go to keying, ultra key, drag it onto the thing, click the pipette, choose the color. It will now make it empty except for the file that's behind it. And then once again, I can line up whatever I want in here, make it bigger, make it smaller, make it fit. And in this case, you see the cars traveling along as I talk in this little thing, in this little box. Now you can also take things that don't have backgrounds. So say for example, this lady, if I drag and drop her into the timeline, you'll see that she's all green here. Now, once again, if I use the ultra key and I choose the green that's behind her, I can now have her dancing anywhere I want on the screen. Once again, based on the green screen that we've been doing. In this case, she's a little bit opaque, but that's fine. What you can do is come down here and you can have a look at how transparent they happen to be. Okay, how much shadow? In this case, she gets fully filled in. She dances around. And of course, tolerance, once again, it's how much it cuts out of the green behind it. And if you need more general green screen tips, there's a video here. Go click it, and I'll see you in the next video.